So, what did I think of the new Mickey Mouse documentary, huh? I thought it was amazing. I thought it was the best Mickey Mouse documentary they ever made. What did you think, Mickey? I thought it was slander! Slander! Oh! Oh! Slander, everybody! Oh! Oh! Mickey, it wasn't slander. Stop it. Anyway, uh, I highly recommend it for any Mickey Mouse fan. For anyone who's seen my videos before, people know me as a huge Looney Tunes fan. But I'm also actually a pretty big Mickey Mouse fan. I love the documentary. I loved how they went through the decades. But I didn't love everything. I, I think the documentary has one big problem. And I'm going to get to that. But first, let's just talk about uh, what I loved about it. I loved how it talked about things that I didn't know about Mickey. And I, I knew most things, but there were certain things that were surprising. Like some of the stuff in World War II, I, I knew most of that stuff, but there was a little bit of things I didn't know about. Like I knew that Mickey did not fight during World War II. It was mostly Donald. When I first found that out years ago, I thought that made sense because Mickey became an innocent character as time went on. So I thought it was kind of nice that Mickey didn't fight during World War II. But he actually did fight the Nazis in the comics. In the Mickey Mouse comics, it did fight the Nazis, and I have some Mickey Mouse comics from the 1940s. I I'm going to go through the film and just talk about the things I didn't like. There were certain things they didn't talk about. Uh, they completely skipped over the 90s and the 2000s. Why? They completely skipped over the, the 90s and the 2000s, like that whole time period. Like they talk like I loved how they talked about what happened to Mickey, how he became too much of a mascot, and I like how they... They talked about the mistakes they made with Mickey and how they didn't continue to make him more of a cartoon character like he always was and like what happened to him in the 50s and 60s. And I loved what they talked about in the 70s and 80s. I thought that was fantastic. I was surprised they actually talked about Mickey in Vietnam, that illegal cartoon made, made by that person. And they actually had that person in the documentary. And I loved how the... the they talked about like the innocence of Mickey, how people viewed Mickey Mouse during uh, the 1960s. But what I found was odd is that they didn't show Mickey die uh, at the end of that cartoon. They talked about the cartoon, like they talked about all the controversial stuff that involves Mickey Mouse in this documentary. But they didn't show the ending of that cartoon where Mickey actually gets shot. I thought that was a mistake. They went controversial, but I guess it was a little too, little too much, a little too uh, adult to show that in a Mickey Mouse documentary, I guess they thought. But I thought it would have been would have been important and helpful to the documentary. The ending of that cartoon where Mickey gets shot, it's significant because it, it, it's showing like the death of America or uh, the death of innocence because Mickey Mouse rec represents innocence and adventure. That's why the end of that cartoon has such an impact. They didn't talk about that at all, and I think that was a mistake. That's one thing I'm really pissed off about, is they, they completely skipped over the 90s and the 2000s. But before we get to that, remember when they showed in the documentary when Walt Disney was getting older, and this was in the 50s? His, his voice was getting pretty hoarse, or pretty mousy, uh, less mousy, rather. And he, he had a hard time doing Mickey, and then, and then the next clip they show how he dies. Well, they didn't actually show him die, like... But, you know, I guess you can say Walt finally got killed by the mousetrap of life. <laughs> okay, that's... Well, he was Mickey, right? So that makes sense, right? For me to say that joke? Okay. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, anyway, um, what I find interesting about that is they didn't talk about fun and fancy free. This was basically Mickey and the Beanstalk, and it was the final time that Walt Disney voiced Mickey Mouse. I think they should have talked about this movie, and then they could have, then they could have shown the clip of him getting ill, struggling to do the voice of Mickey, and then show him die. So this went completely neglected. They didn't talk about this at all, fun and fancy free. I don't get that. By the way, I think uh, if the Mickey Mouse in Vietnam cartoon might still be on YouTube if they haven't gotten rid of it already. They also didn't talk about any of the Mickey Mouse comics. There was actually a lot of Mickey Mouse comics uh, that I thought were really good. Mickey Mouse actually had more adventures in his comics than he had in his cartoons. And it's a shame because, for some reason, comics get neglected in these documentaries when they talk about these characters. It seems like, to the general public, comic books are just regulated to superheroes, and they're not. 
a lot of the famous cartoon characters had their own comic books, and they had a lot of them, and they, they shouldn't be uh, neglected from history. Th this is another collection I have from Mickey's anniversary here, where it shows all the different eras of Mickey, and the animation changes from Mickey. So they didn't talk about any of the comics of Mickey Mouse. Th this is another Mickey Mouse comic book. It's from another country, and I'm not sure what country it's from. It's not from the United States. But he's like a detective in this comic book series. And I think this is from the 90s. It's really a badass series. It's, it's kind of serious, and it's kind of dark. And I, I really like it. And does it get mentioned? Nope. Not a single mention. It didn't last long, but even still. They didn't talk about anything about Mickey in the 90s. Like, remember Runaway Brain? I love that cartoon. A lot of Mickey fans love that cartoon. It's become a cult classic. It's hard to find because Disney has like mostly disregarded the cartoon because they feel like it was a mistake to make Mickey look so evil in the cartoon. But the animation in that, in that cartoon is amazing. They still could have mentioned it. They still could have talked about how it's a great cartoon, but they made a mistake in making Mickey look evil. I mean, they talked about uh, that cartoon of Mickey in Vietnam. And yet they didn't talk about Runaway Brain? I don't understand that. And Runaway Brain should have been a whole movie, by the way. They could have talked about the two cameos Mickey has in a Goofy movie. Mickey Mouse Works, that was a cartoon series that not everyone watched, but it was like the new shorts of Mickey Mouse and Friends in the 90s. I, I liked those cartoons. I thought they were decent. I, I really loved the animation in them. And they didn't talk about them at all. Nope, not a single mention. Uh, I mean... <sighs> Like, what the hell? In the 90s, Mickey Mouse became a video game star. Uh, Mickey appeared in a lot of video games in the 90s. They didn't talk about any of the Mickey Mouse video games at all, whatsoever. The Sega Genesis had a Castle of Illusion, which is a very memorable Mickey Mouse game uh, to Sega Genesis fans. They didn't talk about World of Illusion. They didn't talk about any of the Illusion games. There was also Land of Illusion, Legend of Illusion. And the rest of the 90s, Mickey appeared in all kinds of video games. Super Nintendo, uh, Mickey's Magical Quest. This is the best Mickey Mouse video game, like, ever. And it's made by Capcom, and it's, uh, it's an excellent game. And th they didn't talk about this at all. Nothing. Not, not a single mention. And also, the other Mickey Mouse game on the Super Nintendo, the, the Circus one. Uh, that wasn't mentioned at all, either. Mickey Mania. I know this game is a, is, has a mixed bag in the 90s, uh, in my opinion. Um, but... It's really cool that uh, Mickey goes through all his different cartoons in the game. Like, each level is a different era of Mickey Mouse. And I thought this was a really cool idea for a game. And the animation on the characters is very impressive. And even though the controls are a little um, wonky, and I hate that term. Uh, but uh, I'm doing this quickly, so I don't know what else to say. Uh, not wonky, but a little disjointed, I guess, with the controls. But I still think it's a decent game. The Prince and the Pauper. Anyone remember that? That was a, a movie. It, it was like 30, 40 minutes. I think that's an amazing, great, underrated Mickey Mouse cartoon. And they didn't talk about that at all. They talked about Mickey's Christmas Carol, which is great. But they didn't talk about The Prince and the Pauper. I think that should have been a whole movie, by the way. But they, you know, they were afraid to do things too much with Mickey Mouse. But that was a mistake that that wasn't a whole movie. That's an excellent Mickey Mouse movie. You should check that out. That was in the 90s. They didn't talk about that at all whatsoever. Completely skipped over it. Mickey's Speedway USA, which came out on the Nintendo 64. Uh, I love that game. I think that's an amazing video game. It's underrated. I think it's an excellent racing game. It's very fun. They didn't talk about that at all. They didn't mention that at all. Also, in the 2000s, uh, Mickey was in Kingdom Hearts. They didn't mention Mickey Mouse in the Kingdom Hearts either. Uh, they could have, I don't know why they didn't do that, the 2000s. Like, they could have talked about how kids' memories of growing up playing the, the original Kingdom Hearts and wondering where Mickey was, and then finding out, like, he's, like, later in the game and he's the king and everything, and Mickey's Keyblade and everything, and they, they could have talked about all that. Uh, not a single mention. Like, they could have showed footage of Mickey Mouse in the Kingdom Hearts series. Also, in the 2000s, Mickey was in House of Mouse. Remember that cartoon? Nowadays, it's viewed as being underrated, and it's, it's very special, but that wasn't mentioned at all whatsoever. That, that was Mickey's uh, show in the 2000s. Yep, not a single, a single, uh, not a single mention, completely disregarded, woohoo! Like, like, what the fuck?
Yeah, I, I don't get it. Uh, there was also Snowed In at the House of Mouse, the Mickey Christmas special. Um, and there was also another Mickey uh, Christmas special, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, uh, in, the, in the 2000s, I think. So Mickey's actually had a couple of uh, Christmas movies. There was also Mickey's House of Villains, House of Mouse, House of Villains. This is a, 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 the movie from uh, House of Mouse, where the villains take over the House of Mouse. And at the end of this movie, Mickey fights Jafar. That's right, he's the wizard and he fights him at the end. And that's a, that's, that's a great ending for this movie. They didn't talk about that at all. Also, they didn't talk about Fantasmic. Uh, if any of you out there remember Fantasmic, uh, it, it was like a play that they would have at Disney World. Like, they, talk, they talked about Mickey Mouse wearing the costume at the theme parks, which is special, which is good. But they didn't talk about Fantasmic at all. And let me tell you, like, in the 2000s, it, was, it came out in the 90s and the 2000s, and I loved Fantasmic. When I was in my early teens, and I was at Disney World, I was so excited to see Fantasmic. And when I saw it that night, I loved it. Mickey being the wizard and everything, and he, it was like him fighting all the villains of the whole Disney universe. And had the waterfall and the fireworks and everything. Fantasmic wasn't mentioned at all. And the ending of this movie, by the way, of the House of Villains, Mickey fighting Jafar, is, this is like the cartoon version of Fantasmic, by the way. That, none of that was mentioned at all. Epic Mickey in the 2000s, the 2000, uh, 2000s video game, that video game was a pretty big deal at the time. They didn't talk about that game at all. That's a good game. Also, The Wizards of Mickey. This is a comic book series from the 90s. And it, it's basically like pre-Kingdom Hearts, and it has Mickey, Donald, and Goofy having being wizards, basically. And it's really, really good. It kind of reminds me of the comic book series Bone, if any of you have ever read that. This was not mentioned at all whatsoever. I mean, what the hell's going on? They didn't mention all the stuff that ha the, they did with Mickey in the 90s and the 2000s. It's like they completely skipped over that time period. Like, after the 80s part of the documentary, then they started talking about how Bob Iger, the president of Disney or something, started talking about how Mickey wasn't in anything for a very, very long time. And that was, that was really true. And then they started, you know, plugging the new 2010s Mickey Mouse cartoon. And I like that cartoon. I do. It brings the spirit of Mickey back to his roots. I do like the cartoon. Um, I do think that there are... Uh, too many sexual things in it, and uh, too many inappropriate moments in those 2010s Mickey Mouse cartoons. But I still like the show. I, I do like the animation. Uh, so aside from those little moments here and there, I like it. Well, after they talked about the 80s, they just talked about how Mickey wasn't anything for, for a long time, but they skipped the 90s and the 2000s. Like, they should have done more with Mickey during the 90s and the 2000s. But I think House of Mouse ended in 2005 or something like that. So after the early 2000s, they mostly didn't do anything with Mickey. Until, like, the, the mid-2010s, when they then brought back Mickey Mouse with that cartoon. I thought they should have released this documentary for Mickey's 100th anniversary, which is only going to be in, like, uh, two or three years from now. It seems weird. Like, why didn't they just wait, like, two or three years from now and then make this documentary for his 100th anniversary? It seems like a mistake to me. I don't know why uh, it's before. Like, what are they going to do for his 100th now? More merchandise? I mean, we have enough of it, right? I think for Mickey's 100th anniversary, they should make a special movie. Put it in the theaters and have Mickey f go on an adventure and have him fight all the villains that he's ever fought in his entire career. That would be amazing. And call it, like, Mickey's Adventure or something like that. Have him fight uh, the Black Bolt... Um, Mortimer, uh, the devil from Fantasia, uh, Pete, you know, uh, some of the villains in the comics, the guy he he was the apprentice for in the Fantasia, the wizard guy. Um, so I do love the documentary. I do highly recommend it for Mickey Mouse fans. It's a very adult documentary. That's, that's my complaint with the documentary, is they completely skipped over the 90s and the 2000s, and I don't understand it. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, huh?